I'm sure you've heard the statistic that 20% of new businesses failed during their first two years and 45% fail before the five-year mark. But why is it that when a business remains open longer, it's more likely to fail? When the first Model T's hit the road, it took over 12 hours to make each vehicle. When Henry Ford introduced the assembly line into the production of his cars, he slashed that time to just 93 minutes. As his production costs shrunk, he was able to sell cars at a lower price. More people could afford his product, sales skyrocketed, and the rest, as they say, is history. Henry Ford unlocked a way of doing business that still remains the most powerful tool entrepreneurs have in creating their own success stories. Scale. In this video, I'll convince you that scaling a business is the fastest way to start making life-changing money without working more hours or compromising the quality of your product. To know how to scale a business, you have to understand how it's different from growing a business. Let's look at an example. James and Mary both start mowing lawns in their hometown. James uses the push mower he already had in his garage to save on startup costs. He gets a lot of customers and starts working 12-hour days to keep up with the demand. He hires more employees to help with the mowing, handle his invoicing, and answer customer phone calls. He buys a small fleet of work trucks for his crew to use to get to jobs on time. After five years, James is still making $3,000 a month. Mary uses her first month's profits to buy a riding mower that allows her to cut twice as many lawns without working more hours, doubling her profits without increasing her operating expenses. When it's time to bring in help, she invests in route planning software that ensures her mowers are moving from each job as quickly and efficiently as possible. She also offers a higher salary to her crew leaders to handle invoicing and customer service in addition to mowing lawns. After five years, Mary is making $40,000 a month. Both James and Mary expanded their business, but James focused on growth while Mary focused on scale. Growth and scale are often used interchangeably, but they're definitely different. Growth has to do with literally getting bigger, hiring more employees, purchasing more real estate, and so on. When you grow a business the wrong way, your gains and losses usually remain even. When James hired employees and bought trucks for them to drive to jobs, he increased the number of lawns he could mow, but those profits were eaten up by the cost of multiple salaries and new vehicles. But scaling has to do with improving your business at its current size and taking only the most efficient growth opportunities. When you scale a business, your gains outpace your losses. This is what savvy entrepreneurs and even rich YouTubers are talking about when they say you can 10 times your income without working more hours. And as scammy as it sounds, it's very real. Mary invested in software and offered a small pay increase to a few of her employees, which allowed her to mow more lawns just like James, but at a much smaller cost. Offering higher wages also allowed her to recruit better talent and reduce her turnover rate, so she can hold on to her employees longer and save on hiring costs. So how can you scale a business to make incredible profits quickly? Here are three ways. Not all businesses are scalable, and some are definitely a lot easier to scale than others. So you'll want to make sure you're choosing one that is going to scale quickly and easily. Why work harder than you have to? Did you know that most of the Windows computers out there weren't actually made by Microsoft? There are tons of hardware companies that pay Microsoft to use their operating system. Microsoft creates the software once, then sells it repeatedly to the folks who want to use it in their computer hardware products. And when people buy a Windows computer, they realize they need programs like PowerPoint and Excel. Guess who they end up paying for those? Yep, Microsoft again. Software is one of the easiest businesses to scale because once the product is created, it can be copied and distributed to many people without much extra cost. The software can be improved over time, automate tasks, and provide valuable data insights. Plus, its digital nature allows it to reach a global audience and grow without needing a lot of physical resources. Some software products you could create and scale quickly are WordPress plugins, mobile apps, software as a service, or SaaS, Chrome extensions, Gmail extensions, Windows or Mac applications, and chatbots. Software is just one example of a business that's super easy to scale. Here are a few more. Creator content, blogs, podcasts, YouTube, 
digital downloads, online courses, subscription services, and rental properties. The critical thing you're looking for when choosing a business that is easy to scale is that processes can be continually improved or outsourced to make it more efficient. When your business starts growing like crazy, things can get messy quickly. That's where streamlining comes in to save the day. It's all about making things smoother, faster, and more efficient so you can handle growth like a pro. Are there any bottlenecks or unnecessary steps that slow things down? Identify those suckers and zap them away. For example, if you run an e-commerce business, you could streamline your order fulfillment process by integrating your website with a shipping service. That way, when someone places an order, the shipping info is automatically sent, and you can get that package out the door in a jiffy. No more manual data entry or delays. Streamlining also means getting rid of any redundant or outdated practices. Let's say you have a team that spends hours manually updating spreadsheets. Yikes. It's time to bring in the big guns like a cloud-based project management tool. With real-time collaborations and automatic updates, everyone's on the same page, and those spreadsheet hours can be spent on more exciting stuff. Or maybe just a well-deserved coffee break. It's all about working smarter, not harder. Most people are still stuck in the mindset of working more hours to make more money, just like James did with his lawn mowing business. You've got to stop. Instead, you should be looking for ways to leverage other people's time. Outsourcing lets you tap into external talent and resources to handle tasks that may be holding you back from growing at warp speed. Plus, it gives you the flexibility to focus on what you do best while leaving the rest to the experts. Let's say you're a tech startup trying to develop a cutting-edge mobile app. You need a team of skilled developers, but hiring them full-time might drain your budget faster than a casino slot machine. Outsourcing to a remote development team in a country with lower labor costs can be a game-changer. You get top-notch developers at a fraction of the cost, and they'll work their coding magic while you focus on marketing, sales, and growing your user base. So if you want to scale your business like a boss, you really need to outsource those tasks that are slowing you down. It's a secret weapon that allows you to access talent, save costs, and stay focused on what truly matters. Growing your business and taking over the world. In a friendly way, of course. Scaling a business sounds complicated, but really, it's just choosing the right product, streamlining it, and outsourcing everything you can. I'm not a financial advisor, but I would recommend starting and scaling a business over any other investment, hands down. It's way more likely to make you wealthy than any stock purchase. If you want to learn about my personal favorite business model that is extremely scalable, click the link in the description. It's also in the pinned comment.